with Ozzy Wazzy Knit Designs and I'm going to show you how to do the two color grill stitch. This is a pretty simple stitch to do. Um, I really like the way that the stitch looks where it's flat in the one color with the knit stitch and then it has a little bit of the garter stitch to cause um, a bit of texture which I love texture. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're going to do the two color grill stitch, which is just this section here, um, where we have these straight lines. So it kind of looks like a grill, like if we were gonna cook on it. Um, and I just made this swatch for this tutorial, for a couple tutorials actually. And so um, if you are using this stitch as a part of my color and texture play baby blanket then um, we'll be going through the steps on how to do that if you're just here for the grill stitch you can ignore the parts where we do the um, border okay so first things first if you're doing the blanket anyway we start off with a linen stitch all right so i'm gonna insert my needle and just begin that linen stitch, knit, slip with the yarn in front, knit, slip with the yarn in front. And now I'm ready for the grill stitch. All right, and so I'm just gonna knit all the way across. It's super easy when you're with the contrast color one for the first section of the grill stitch or um, contrast color two if you're doing the second one and alternating the colors. Uh, either way, Whichever part is the grill part, you're just gonna knit all the way across. And my ball of yarn just dropped. Oh, so annoying. Sorry about that, guys. Here we go, knit across. Here we go, we're almost to the end of the grill stitch section. And then we're gonna start the linen stitch. Slip with in front, knit, slip in front, and turn the work. All right. So again, if you're just here for the grill stitch, you can ignore the first four stitches. Um, but if you're here for the color and texture play baby blanket, this is your border. Basically, we're doing the linen stitch. So I purl one and slip one with the yarn held in back, purl one, slip one with the yarn held in back. Now I'm ready to knit the grill stitch, but I'm gonna take a moment and turn the work over and I want you to see how all of these um, in the color that I'm using right now, a contrast color one, are knit stitches, they're not purled. So what that means is that we're actually going to purl all the way across so we can get that nice purl, or I'm sorry, it's nice stock and knit stitch look, okay? There we go. And if you're new to my tutorials and you see the way I'm knitting, this is called flicking. If this is something you would like me to do a tutorial on, leave me a comment below. Otherwise there's, um, I think it's a fairy pink knit. I need to look that up, but she does a tutorial on it and that is how I learned how to do it. Um, it's a very good tutorial and I would highly recommend it. Although warning, if you're a thrower and you want to switch to this for speed, it's going to take you a while. All right, so we're doing the linen stitch now. So purl, slip in the back, purl, slip in the back. So for part two of the grill stitch, two colors, is now we need to use our other color, which for me is pink. All right. So again, if you are not knitting my pattern and you're just here for the grill stitch, ignore these first four stitches. Here we go. Because we're doing the two color linen stitch in the blanket. That's our border. And then we're ready to do the grill stitch. All right. So in the pattern, we knit the first one and then we slip. And once you've been doing this for a while, you really don't have to keep track because all you have to do is look at the work below and keep moving. All right. So I can see just by looking below 
that I knit these next two stitches. All right, so I'm gonna knit it and then slip that one, obviously, because we wanna continue that solid line across. Um, and slip, again, just, I remember the first time I learned about reading your knitting and what a game changer that was for me. So if you've never taken the time to learn to read your knitting, now is a great time to do that because otherwise oh, you would just have to keep looking at your pattern and counting stitches. But if you can learn how to read what you've done and know what to do next, you can save yourself some time. All right, so here we go back and uh, for those who are just here for the girl stitch, you can skip this part. It's just the linen stitch for four stitches before we begin the girl stitch pattern. Now, with the contrast color one or the aqua, we were doing a stockinette stitch for the front. So let's flip this over again. One thing that's super cool in my opinion about the two color girl stitch is that it has a lot of texture to it. So it's got the stock and knit stitch for the main color. Um, and then it has this bumpy garter stitch in the middle. That's the contrast color. In order to do that, obviously we have to do the garter stitch or rather knit, um, those stitches on both sides. We're going to knit, then we don't want to interrupt this line. So we need to move our yarn to the front and slip that stitch. And it's really easy on your way back because we're just going to knit into all the stitches that we knit into with that color. Just remember when you're slipping the stitch to move it so it's not showing in front of those lines. We don't want to interrupt those beautiful lines of the grill stitch pattern. All right. And we just keep going across like this. And now I'm at the linen stitch, so I'm gonna purl, slip, oops, purl. And of course, if you're not doing my pattern, skip that part and don't pay it any mind. And there you have it. That is the two color grill stitch. Isn't that lovely? And there you have it. That is the two color girl stitch pattern. Uh, I use this stitch pattern in one of my patterns, which is the color and texture play baby blanket. It is available on Ravelry, Etsy, and on my website. If you want to check that out, there will be links below to that pattern. Um, anyway, I hope that you can incorporate this pattern somewhere because the texture is great. And also the color is great. I think, um, so if you want to connect with me, I uh, am on Instagram as Ozzy Lazzy Knits, or I have a Facebook page, Ozzy Lazzy Knit Designs. You can follow me on Pinterest at Ozzy Lazzy Knits. And I also have a um, blog and newsletter, which you can subscribe to, uh, www.ozzylazzyknitdesigns.com. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button, uh, like it, and uh, again, if you have any comments, please leave them below. Thanks and happy knitting!